Uh, oftentimes, we have had individuals in the community that just are always on the lookout for students in need. And I'll get a call that says, okay, this student is headed your way, please take care of them. So we appreciate that. We had a, a young Latino student and um, there was a family who, he was a family friend of their son. And they felt like that he was very talented and had a lot of capabilities if he would ever be given an opportunity to have an education. And so they came to us anonymously and provided the funding for him to be able to come to Surrey Community College and get a degree in mechatronics. One year out, he has been able to work for a company here that is local. In his first year, he made $65,000 a year. He recently told us that he was able to help his family to secure a better home and that he was going to take them on vacation for the first time. That is story after story after story that makes up community colleges and it's truly why we are so important, especially in rural North Carolina. We are the only opportunity that so many of our students have. We have in excess of 220 scholarships through the foundation. We have automotive scholarships, we have carpentry scholarships, and once a scholarship uh, application is made, that is evaluated, and then that person, that student, is matched with a scholarship that is appropriate. Well, we began to realize several years ago that just simply scholarships were not going to be enough. We had students that had concerns about family situations or really money to get to school. Many times I go to the gas station with students and get enough gas for them to complete their week of classes. Uh, also, I've had instructors contact me and say, this student's hungry. This student's living in their car. We have really made an effort to give the student everything they need to be successful. We know how critical an education is, especially in a rural environment. And so we have tried our best to meet their needs. I can remember one situation, um, a student needed a car part. You know, their car was just completely out of commission. So I went at eight o'clock in the morning to the You Pull It. And while I waited in the lobby, the student and her family went to the junkyard, pulled the part, I paid for it, and then she was able to come back to class the next week. So that's the extent that we go to with um, our student emergency fund, and it's, it's, it's necessary.